So today we're going to assemble the four valve heads. We're going to be installing some uh, Lunati custom grind cams. And then I also got some new valve seals, some Supertech valve springs. Got the valves all done. And also did buy some Ford GT roller followers and some new lifters. But when I was cleaning my engine, I noticed that cylinder number four had a scratch that you could barely feel with your fingernail. So I was just thinking about reusing my old roller followers and lash adjusters and just saving the brand new ones for my backup motor that I plan on building after this one. There's a difference between the Ford GT and the regular Cobra rollers. I did notice like the Ford GTs have a smaller oil passage. So I'm going to just save these for the next engine. I'm going to just be reusing my old ones. Got these from MMR if you're trying to get a set. Got my keepers. Got the Euro Expert tool. Everything should be here and should be ready to get assembled. Here's my cylinder head. I did get three thousandths of an inch removed to get a perfect seal with the new head gasket. Most of the carbon is gone. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure there's not any dust on, on the cylinder heads. I don't got an air compressor, so I just went ahead and bought a can of compressed air. These are for like keyboards or whatever, but they do work pretty well. I had them bagged up, so it wasn't too much dust on them. All right, got all the valves back in. Now I'm gonna flip the head over and go ahead and put the valve seals on.
Now we could go ahead and put the springs on. Narrower, narrower side is going to go on the top. This side is going to go on the bottom. That's going to be the bottom. Then the top's going to be with it on the top. For the keepers, grab yourself two of them, uh, clean them with some brake clean. I like that you just use like regular assembly lube. Let's get some in there. You might have to push the valve all the way up because they do tend to drop down. And then we could use our Euro Expert tool. Compress the spring. See how it kind of went down again? Let's pop it back up. Now we could grab our keepers. That's really it. And if you have trouble maneuvering it, you could use like a little flathead, kind of move it into position. Once that's done, slowly bring it back up. And that's it. Now you just gotta do it 32 more times.
So I'm working on the driver's side head. So you're going to want the cams that are labeled L for left side, which is the driver's side. And then EX is going to be for exhaust side and IN for intake side. So exhaust side, where the exhaust ports are, intake will go over here. Be careful with the cams because they are sharp and it will cut your palms up. You always want to clean the cam before you install it because they do put some kind of uh, rust preventive coating. So I'm going to spray it down with brake clean and use a little microfiber rag. Once you got the cam clean, we could go ahead and install them. I'm going to add some assembly loop to all of the cam boards. Now would be a good time to install the, the lash adjusters. You kind of just drop them in. You want that hole facing the upper hole there. That way when you start it up, it'll have oil pressure right away. But I'm going to be degreeing my cam, so I'm not going to install them yet. Torque spec is 89 inch pounds. So you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna double check it. And it should be the same for the other side. And then just repeat the process for the exhaust cam. Cam should be spinning free. So I noticed my exhaust cam is too big and it's not clearing the cam tower. It's getting stuck right there. And these ones are very close but it does clear. So I'm thinking about grinding it down over here to make the clearance better. <laughs> 